You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, happy Christmas Eve. If you're a Christmas celebrator, uh, I'm Mike, this is Ink Dependence, and today we are on day 24 of our homemade ink event. This has been a fun experiment, and uh, I'm glad to have done it. So, let's see what's in our red bag here. It feels like a sample, and this is, oh, Krishna Jungle Volcano. This was sent to me by uh, by Ryan, who is a viewer, so thank you, Ryan. And uh, let's just, uh, there we go, trade that out for one of the... One of the things your daughter made. Uh, Christian Jungle Volcano, I've actually used before. It's been a little while, uh, but I got a bottle of this when it very first came out, and it's a very interesting ink. Uh, you get, like, this deep red color, and you get, like, a green sheen. It's got a lot of stuff going on, so this is a complicated ink. Put that in my little ink sample holder. All right, day 24. Okay, so uh, you see here, it actually, it's darkening up a little bit, and you're getting a little bit of the characteristic sheen that you get with that, but we'll see a lot more once we, uh, once we get this on paper with a uh, proper swatch. <laughs> Come on, stick to my letter opener, please. Okay, pretty good. Let's let that dry and develop its, uh, its sheen and stuff, and then uh, we'll see what's kind of close to it. Okay, so now that this is dried, it's been a little bit, uh, quite a while actually, this takes a bit to dry completely. But you can see why this one is called Jungle Volcano, and I think actually Tom uh, Otto of uh, Eating Journal had some, uh, had some hand in naming this, if I remember correctly. And you get this like really interesting reddish, uh, red kind of coppery even, uh, color underneath, and you get like the jungle canopy and the green and gold sheen that develops on top. And so you get like this volcano going through a jungle, like lava flow. I, I think this is very cool as far as, uh, as a, a sheening ink. Does some interesting stuff. Let's see what we have that's even close to this. Uh, I'm gonna go straight to oranges. Okay, so here we have Krishna Jungle Volcano. This is the original um, coloring card that I did for this and you can see even more here since I did kind of a it ended up being circular you get like this green sheen on the outside and then you get this like bright spot and then it's kind of I don't know it's a really cool ink and I like the way it looks uh, this is Noodler's Habanero which uh, I think is kinda close in these mid-tones but obviously lacks any of that sheen uh, likewise Twisby Orange in fact none of these are gonna have the sheen like this this is a, a unique characteristic to this ink for sure uh, but I think uh, Twisby Orange has some stuff in common, although this is a brighter orange and this is more of a kind of a dusky orange. In fact, like, even in this kind of very thin area here, uh, right there, where I, uh, where I use the glass pen, you can still see some of that, like, dark orange or maybe even a little bit of green sheen that develops. Even a little bit of the single sheen, which is cool. Uh, Robert Oster's Fire on Fire, this is a pen addict uh, special color, has uh, some stuff in common here for sure, although this is a brighter orange. And then uh, Groff from Faber-Castell Burned Orange from Don, uh, who sent me this, this bottle of ink. He's like, you have not reviewed this and I'm tired of waiting. So he sent me a bottle, which is super cool. Um, but this one, as you can see, like Jungle Volcano is kind of a sullen orange almost, where these are all a bit brighter. I didn't have anything that really matches the base color there. So there you go. Uh, thanks for watching. This has been Day 24. Tomorrow, Christmas Day. Let's see what ink we get for Christmas Day. Peace out.